Okay, I have two different size bars here. I have three inch and two inch. For the two inch, I'm gonna use cupcake liners. And you're gonna wanna just save little rolls like this. To use as a, like a little jig to hold it in there. And a lot of tape size is two inch and three inch. So once you find something, uh, save that piece and you just use it to hold it in there, wrap it around. If I'm using paper, and I do use paper on the cupcake liners because they got wax paper, and if you don't, your sticker won't hold. So um, you can use that um, Japanese tape or just use whatever decorative tape you got and just wrap it around, put your sticker on. That's it. Super simple. Put it inside there and wrap. So and then the next one, I'm gonna use coffee filters. Um, there's lots of things that are three inch, like all these rolls are three inch, so I can pick whatever one I yeah. want. And you're gonna put your bar in there. And you can use brown paper bay or brown filters too. I just normally I have those, but right now I'm out. That one's just a little bit tight, but once it's in there, you can fancy it by just grabbing each little blade and pulling, or you can just stick it together and be done with it. It just depends on um, how much you're selling your bars for and how much time and effort you want to put into them. Get it on there. Grab your label, center it across, however you want it. And those stick to the coffee filters a lot better than the cupcakes, so it's that easy. Just keep, continue on.